Second. 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 Second
Ted has a story. I don't know if Matt knows the story. I know that we um, we've had a couple of amendments suggested to us. Um, um, in addition to uh, Representative Shalakin's uh, amendment and Representative Wright's amendment, um, suggestion had been made or discussion had been made about um, changing the timeline because currently it's six months ahead that they would get the um, cartel. And suggesting what was that maybe we change that to the prudence, but now I would be concerned that prudence could be a week before instead of six months. I think that off the way that it is. Yeah. So. Well, the yeah. department needs the okay from us to issue the ID cards. That was the ruling of the AG. Well, they have the authority to do that six months ahead of the AG. Right, so we just wanted them to proceed to give those people. You know, in an extreme case, some protection from arrest because these poor folks are out there buying this stuff on the street anyway because they can't get it legally. So, um, any further discussion? I know Donald's felt quite strongly about this, about her amendment. I, I just wanted to. I know she She was just. I heard you say that the rules process is moving faster than you thought. Yeah, we well, thought that, it would be and worse. We had heard before it would be done by January. You think it will be done before January, okay. so it will be done before six months. Um, right. So these cards may actually be in people's hands before they thought, even two weeks ago. Huh. No, you don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. Well, it's just positive. You're for me. Sure. Yeah. I know you don't like the rules. But you can move them along as quickly as possible. But I think it's very important that we send, as Senator Tully said, we, that the message is to be respected to move. That it's for the department, that's for anybody who might be kind of trying to slow it down for any any reason, that that's not tolerable. Right. Um, can we get a can we get a an opinion here from Matt about what we're gonna do here? What the what the result of that will be. If you we wanna ask him a question, you can ask him a question. Yes, the question is, what's the result if we, what's the downside if we, if we send this to interim study? If you send it to interim study, patients, the status quo will continue for patients for at least a year and a half, if not two or more years. Well, um, their lives won't change a bit. The ones that have moved to other states will remain in other states. The ones who are here suffering won't have legal access or protection. If the AG's opinion is held, which is what HHS has said, they'll follow the AG's opinion. They won't issue an ID card until the first ATC opens. And that we have... The statute says that they will issue the card six months ahead of the ATCs. So the people would have the, the cards in their hands when the ATC opened. I'm sorry, Senator Stiles, I don't believe the law says that. And I don't believe the AG's advisory opinion says that. They said not until patients have access. Will the cards be issued? Yeah, that was the goal of our hang up. How can I authorize an ID card when there's no legal place to buy it? So that was what came back from HHS to the rule writers was that you can't do that because it's not allowed in the law. Well, I, I don't I don't see how we're going to move forward with any of the amendments that have come along. Yeah, so, uh, are you ready for the vote? Can I ask? Yeah. Is it all right to ask that? Sure. Sergeant, a question. Um, we, we have heard pretty consistently that law enforcement is not um, aggressively seeking out criminal activity around this. And yet, Senator Reagan is uh, talking about a, an incident that happened okay. this past week. Do you have any knowledge? I don't. Representative Wright mentioned that to me. I believe it's an investigation by the state police. That's all I know. I have a chief that's looking into it, but he can't seem to find that information. So uh -huh. we should definitely ask Representative Wright where that story came from. And it's not something by local law enforcement, but um, I don't I, I don't know the facts of that case. Uh -huh. But uh, to your knowledge, this, this it's pretty widespread knowledge that people are not being 
That's my understanding. That local law enforcement is not arresting patients on a regular basis. They're not taking them out. Mm -hmm. That's why I get too much. All right, I'm good. Okay. Hold. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Three to one. No, no. Do you want me to take this out or do you want to take it out? Do you want to take it out? Uh, you can have it. Okay. I'd like to share. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a few minutes um, before we do anything else. I don't, are there any of those that we have hanging that are really simple? Oh, thanks. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>